Hello and welcome to a very special video on the channel here. Uh, Pookie, why don't you tell them what we're up to here? Well, today we are celebrating gratitude. We're participating in a week-long event called the Seven Days of Rest, Return to Essence. And it actually started on January the 1st, and today is the fourth day. And on this day, we focus on gratitude. And there are three more days that follow this. And so I just want to give you the opportunity to go to this website and see all of the amazing events that are happening throughout this entire week. And you can even go back and see some of the events that have already occurred. So many people from all around the world are bringing their intentions, their love, their ceremony to this beautiful circle that we've created here at the Seven Days of Rest. Mm -hmm. The Seven Days of Rest was created by Jan Golding and Shelly Ostroff, two amazing beings who have designed a way, a process for us to live on this planet in a really healthy, sustainable way. Please go to Seven Days of Rest and check out, check out the website and then dive deep into the work that Shelly and Jan do because you'll be amazed because what they really bring to the forefront is the hope that we have in our own ability to create the world that we want, the world that works for everyone where we're all happy and we all have all that we need. Isn't that, all, isn't that what we really want? <laughs> it, it is what we really want, <laughs> right? Sounds like paradise to uh, me. <laughs> so this is a seven-day event. It started on Sunday, January 1st, and day one, uh, was pro the uh, topic was presence. Day two was resonance. Day three was radiance. That, mm. that, that sounds good. Here on day four, it's gratitude, one of Pookie's favorite That's right. topics. Uh, tomorrow on the fifth day is truth. Then we follow by clarity and then kinship, and so yeah, definitely go check out that website. Note the hyphens also that are in the uh, that URL or that wet that website there, uh, so you get it get it right. And then check out all the great ev events. And we're so happy to be part of this. We are. And when we very looked, happy. And when we looked over the seven topics, I went right away to gratitude, thinking uh, I know it's your, your Thanksgiving is your favorite holiday of the year. We talk about gratitude often here on the uh, channel. We do. And and why is that, Pookie? Why is gratitude so important? Mm, because I think gratitude helps us change our frame of reference, you mm -hmm. know, especially like if we're moving through some really difficult times, our things are really challenging. You know, sometimes we don't think to look to be grateful for the things that we have or the things that are around us, you know, or what's already happening or working in our life. And we just kind of discount that. But when we can step into this true state of gratitude and become grateful for everything in our lives, for everything that's showing up, for all of the one and all of the beauty, all of the all of the life force energy that surrounds us all. Oh my gosh, there's so many things to be grateful for. Mm -hmm. And so we can just come into this place of true gratitude and just really, really drink deeply from this well and it will change our experience. Absolutely. I've said many times that gratitude is the foundation of all personal growth, personal transformation uh, in, our, in, our, in our lives. When you're grateful for what you already have, the, both the big and the, and the small things, a lot of people overlook those small, just everyday things to be grateful for. Uh, when you appreciate everything that's already existing in your world, you open yourself up to be more receptive to more good. You notice more good. You get more of those things in greater quantities. And so that's in the general sense. And I, I often say we, yeah, you should every day have a, a gratitude practice, you know, some point in the day, probably before you go to bed at the end of the day, look back on your day and be appreciative for the people, the places, the things, the, the personal, uh, the, the things that you've accomplished uh, and, and, and just be grateful for those things. Here though, as part of this, we're going to be grateful for more of a specific, we're kind of narrowing the focus here. And in fact, I think Pookie, we're going to give them a little guided meditation for them to think about gratitude. Yeah. If you're ready, if you're up for that, I'll grab the guitar. I'll I'm use, ready. Go ahead and set this up. All right. Right. So here, the theme for the week, as you can see, it's, it's really based around our relationship with our natural world. And I don't know how many times you actually think about gratitude when it comes to the world around us, the beauty of living water, the power of a an amazing sunrise bringing to you a beautiful new day. 
How about when the sun sets? Bringing that day to a close where you can just take in all of the things, all of the events, all of the the wonder that you experienced in that day. So, you know, you know, you don't really have to close your eyes. I might say to you right now, look around you. If there is a place where you can go and you can look at, maybe you're already outside. And just look around you and see the beauty and the wonder of all life. And look at the majesty of the trees. Look at the the intricate layers of like looking at the earth and peeking into the grass and maybe you can see some little ants or something moving around. Or how about if you're near some water like a river or a creek and paying attention to how that water flows. You know, this natural beauty that's all around us, all of the things, the air that we breathe, the radiance of the sun on our face, the sacred water we were talking about, the living waters, the water that cleanses us and heals us and sustains us. You know, we need water to live. We need all of this beautiful nature, these surroundings, in order to live. And within this this beautiful construct is everything that we need in order to live happy and healthy lives. The bounty of the mother, the earth, how she brings forth fruit in the form of vegetables and plants, nuts and seeds, all so that we can be nourished in our body. How about all of the little herbs and all of the medicinal plants that are out there that actually help us to heal whenever we have anything and our body seems to be out of alignment with nature? How we can ingest this beautiful herbs, this medicine given to us by the mother and heal our bodies, heal our bodies. How about the the way that our, our body moves with the the cycles of the moon and the tides and how our bodies respond to that as we're so in, ingrained into this natural process of life. And when we have gratitude for all of these cycles, all of these things that are happening, the seasons, you know? And, and then the interesting thing is that, is that all over the world, different seasons are happening, right? In some places, it's winter. In others, it's summer. But the seasons and how the seasons change. And how about all of our, our relatives, our animal relatives, the birds, the winged ones, the four-legged, the hoofed ones, the creepy crawlies, the little ants and spiders and all those little bugs. They're so important. The bees, the bees. Gratitude for this beautiful menagerie of life that we get to be a part of, that's a part of us. We are one with it all. And in knowing that, such deep gratitude. We're children of this sacred earth. Here, sharing one mother, one mother, beautiful mother earth, Pachimama. And all of this has been given to us so that we can live lives that are just filled with love and compassion. And when we have gratitude for all of these things, I like to say something magical happens when we express gratitude towards nature, 
towards like even our food. I'll tell you a little story about me and a blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to hear this one. I know. So I was sitting and I was I was sitting and there was this platter of beautiful fruit in front of me and there was this, these blueberries and I picked up this blueberry and I was going to put it in my mouth. You know how you just pick up and you just put it in your mouth? Well, I was doing that and all of a sudden the blueberry said, stop. And I'm like, what? Yes. <laughs> it spoke to you. Yes. Many things in nature speak to me. Many things that don't have voice speak to me. So the blueberry said, stop. The blueberry said, if you offer gratitude to me before you put me in your mouth, then what you'll do is you'll liberate all of the magic inside of me, all of the medicine inside of me. If you just take that moment to just thank me before you put me in your mouth, then when, I go, when I'm inside of your mouth, I can give you everything that I have. I can give you everything, all of my healing, all of my antioxidants, all of my abundance can be given to you because you are, you've put your attention on me. You saw me. <sighs> Did you know that we can, they, they know. <laughs> they know. And so I was like, oh my goodness. I was like, oh, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then I put the blueberry in my mouth and it was the sweetest blueberry I'd ever eaten in my whole life. It was so delicious. So how about that? How about just walking in the world with like immense gratitude for everything, all of our gifts? You know, when you're getting ready to to sit down and 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 eat some fruit, just have that take that moment of like just thanking that strawberry, thanking that banana, thanking that that beautiful salad. You know, and we can even get to the place where we're like thanking all of the people that helped to bring that to us because there's lots of them. You know, and there's so much gratitude that we can express for so many things in our lives. And, you know, this is a beautiful place to begin. So maybe the next time that you put a blueberry to your mouth, you have that moment where you're like, oh, wait a minute. Let me just thank this blueberry. Let me receive all of the gifts that this blueberry has to offer. Because, you know, when we eat things in an unconscious way, we get the we we get it. It like fills up our belly. But as far as like being having access to all of the beautiful healing power of that fruit, mm, I don't know. Anyhow, that blueberry taught me a lesson. It taught me a lesson in gratitude. And I think that we can see it even too when, when we show gratitude for people in our lives, let's say, and we're telling someone how grateful we are to them. Have you ever noticed how they begin to like bubble up inside and like their best, most magnificent self just kind of emerges in front of you because they're receiving, you know, your gratitude. So how is it that we can walk in the world and offer our gratitude for all the things? Try to find things that you normally wouldn't be grateful for or think about being grateful for. Like the trees. How about when you drink out of your water bottle? Do you stop and think, oh my goodness, thank you, water. Thank you, thank you, water. Do you? Wow, water is really powerful. You know what? There are things that happen to water when you think it. <laughs> Did you know that? There's a whole there's a whole scientific study about our intentions, our thoughts when we when we imbue them into water. What happens to the water as it begins to freeze? It creates these beautiful snowflake crystals. When words like love and gratitude, unity and compassion, thank you. So who are we that we can activate the world in such a beautiful way just by speaking words of gratitude towards things? Who are we? Mm. Oh, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Creator, for this beautiful time, this beautiful sharing of this gratitude. Our hearts are so open, and we are so thankful for all that is present in our lives. So thankful. So today, on day four, the seven days of rest, we honor gratitude and the power 
of gratitude in our lives and how it has the ability to change everything. Everything. Oh, that wow. was sweet. That was really beautiful. Thank you, Bob. I had no idea what you were going to talk about, and that was wonderful. I had no <laughs> idea what I was going to talk about either. I did. I knew I was going to talk about gratitude. Oh, yes. That was great. Right. It's fabulous. We have one more thing uh, for you. It's a song that we wrote, the original song. Uh, that we've, uh, yeah, we really love playing this. It's a little over a year old. And we thought it would be a great way to end this with this, an original song about gratitude. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love it. And this will come back at the end and uh, say a final goodbye. Right? Yeah. But uh, you ready to play that? I am. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> All right. I remember that. My heart is full of gratitude Flowing deep inside My heart is full of gratitude Flowing deep inside I am grateful 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 for my life I am grateful Grateful, grateful for my life With every breath and step I take I'm blessed to be alive With every breath and step I take I'm blessed to be alive I am grateful, grateful Grateful for my life I am grateful 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 for my life I am so grateful I am so grateful I am so grateful now I am so grateful I am so grateful I am so grateful now I am so grateful I am so grateful I am so grateful now I am so grateful I am so grateful I am so grateful now Throughout each day in so many ways I know how loved I am Throughout each day in so many ways I know how loved I am I am grateful 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 for my life I am grateful 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 for my life My heart is full of gratitude Flowing deep inside My heart is full of gratitude Flowing deep inside I am grateful 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 for my life 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 Nice. Very, very wonderful. I'm so grateful for my life. I'm so grateful for all of you for being here, for sharing in the seven days of rest. I return to essence. And like I said, there'll be three more days that follow and many, many more events still on this day. And this is a global event, a global event. So please go and visit 
the seven days of rest.org and register and let us know so that you can find out, you know, at this time on our planet, there are so many things that are happening that are so like out of our control. And sometimes we seem like it might feel like we're a little bit helpless and changing, making a change in the world or moving the world in a way that we, we feel good about. But this is something that you can do. And, and what's really amazing is that you get to see other people in the world who have the same values that you have doing something to bring about the world that we all want to live in, where we all are honored and respected and loved and we have what we need, you know, in order to live happy, healthy lives, right? That's what it's all about. It is. So we're honored to be part of this. And so I hope you enjoyed this. Go check out the website and uh, the rest of the channel here for more inspiring stuff. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) Happy New Year. Have a great 2023. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Aloha. Bye for now.